Jim Crow is embedded in the landscape. So just because we had Rosa and Martin and Fannie Lou and Malcolm does not mean that we're liberated from the legacy of Jim Crow. Richmond, Virginia has a deep cultural heritage that stems back to the birth of the nation. You have people who were born enslaved. You have people who fought for this country when they were still less than full citizens. Like so many in the country, these cemeteries have been for years overgrown and undertended. Based on the density of the grave sites in Easton alone, it's estimated that there's anywhere from 13 to 17,000 people buried on the 16 acre lot alone. In the past, funding for African American American grave sites like East End was denied while those same legislatures approved funding for Confederate graves from the same time period. There was no money set aside for African American graves or slave graves. Right from the beginning, they were running into racist issues. It was very difficult for them to make money. 